Well, I'm Meredith Ballard. I'm 21, and I'm a recent graduate here in Appalachian, and I've uh, lived here for the past four years, and I'm legally blind, and here with me is my guide dog, Frankie. And so, some of the issues I've had with voting are pretty much related to my disability, um, but they didn't really crop up until they changed the voting location from the Student Union to the Legends location. So every time I come here to vote, I have to bring a person with me because it's dangerous when you are a blind person, even with a guide dog, to walk through a parking lot unaccompanied. I even called my guide dog school and asked them, I was like, you know, this is my situation at my polling place. Is there anything I can do? Or like a trainer who can see me? And they said, you know, there's really, there's no, no safe way, even with your dog, to go through a parking lot where there's cars pulling in and out. Anything else you would like to add uh, to that? Um, some of the other things is, you know, this particular location is not good for people like me, but then there's also the, you have to consider people who are, you know, have mobility impairments, who are in wheelchairs. Um, you know, and it's not just legends that can be problematic. The Agricultural Center on the other side of town has some accessibility issues as well. Um, because if you're trying to take voters who have different levels of mobility, grade like in the parking lot. Can someone, if they were coming from campus, actually get to the polling place with a wheelchair and not endanger themselves? Because there are students that live on campus and this is their polling place and they can't get here from where they live because the grade to come down this driveway is too steep. You know, I would never suggest someone, especially if they're in a manual wheelchair, to go down that way. Which means they've got to go a totally different route, go all the way around. And you know, again, it's like if you don't have these disabilities, you probably don't think about it. It's probably never occurred to you. I don't think there's like some big conspiracy against the disabled to stop them from voting. But they're definitely being forgotten. And that's not okay. So.